I'm Alex Perez. I'm Mike Morales. And you are watching Sipping Off the Cuff on TequilaAficionado.com. Tonight, we have the end-all, be-all. Mm -hmm. We've got Tapatio Añejo. Beautiful. Oh, uh, yeah. Uh, if you've been with us uh, throughout the, the first couple of uh, shows where we did the Blanco and the Reposado, where we tasted both of those, you know what our feelings are on this. This is, again, a beautiful presentation. This is a liter bottle. You notice that the label, for those of you who are fans of Tapatio, uh, everything is still authentic. Everything is still uh, nicely molded at the back as well in the bottle. Um, it is a, uh, an 80 proof tequila, uh, 40 ABV. And what's there to say? You know, we're, we've already pre poured the Añejo. Um, you may notice that this is a, a rather light. Really light. It's a really light añejo. Now, according to their material that they've sent us, it's eight, 18 months in used Jim Beam barrels. So they're very specific as to the, the, the whiskey that they're using to, to age these in. The whiskey barrels. The whiskey barrels. Because I think the Ripposella was American. American yeah, oak. it said American oak. Not very specific as to, you know, if it was used uh, by a, a particular whiskey company. But it's a beautiful legs. Yes. Yeah, but it's a really light. It's very light. It's lighter than some. Is it lighter than Reposado? Uh, I want to say that they're camera. very, very close. I mean, we could pour some Reposado uh, in. In uh, we could even bring the bottle over. But um, it, just suffice it to say, this is a, a lighter colored añejo. But it is 18 months. But the barrels that they're using are aged or used. So. Um, That'll give you a real indication that, that, that they didn't want to really lose the, the agave, the, the strong agave basis and flavor profile. Whoa, holy cow. Ah! That nose is like smelling sauce. Wow. It's so rich. The complexity so, also. Yeah, I mean, this is one of those where you really need to spend some time with it, and it 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 urges you to it, you know it calls to you to not swallow it shoot it this is a real sipping tequila it's just really complex and, and just deep it's got some really deep tones of wow. of uh, just really deep caramel and the, the just the, the woody tones are just uh, are just right. It's just got a perfect balance. Whoa! You know, for those of you who have followed the the, the El Tesoro slash uh, Tapatio family uh, history, um, you know a lot about this tequila. Uh, for years, it's been it's been it's an iconic tequila from the Highlands. Uh, definitely a, a very indicative of the area itself. And this is a single estate, as you well know, if you haven't, for those of you who, are, who haven't followed them, they, they, they are a single estate agave, they grow their own agave, famous for some of their other brands and some of the partnered brands that they're with as well, like Ocho, um, uh, the Charbet family, who is responsible for bringing this tequila, importing it in. Uh, I'm kind of tasted, man. This stuff is amazing. <laughs> mm. Mm. Amazing. There's some really good spicy notes on the, on the back end, if you notice, on the back end of your palate. It's it's I I would say it was much more spicy than it's spicier than the reposado. I think, in my opinion. I'm really getting a lot of spice. There is some spice in there. It amazes me how the wood hasn't muted that. that no, that, that, no. That zing, it's got a zing to it. You know? But what, a, what an amazing Daniel. You're not losing the agave as well. Yeah, it's, it's the wood is not masking anything. It's, it, just, it, it just imparts what it needs to impart. And you still have the, the, the spiciness... The agave coming through, it's just beautiful. Wow. What a beautiful balance. Wow. Again, this is, there's not a weak link in this chain. We're, 
Uh, we're hoping to have the, the 110 proof, 110 proof available to us here shortly. Uh, for at Tequila Aficionado, we'll definitely have a, a sipping off the cup exclusively for the 110. Uh, but for right now, we have the Blanco, the Reposado, the Añejo. What, what do we say? It's Tapatio. It's an iconic brand. Um, and as we've mentioned all the way through uh, our tastings for, for Tapatio, I think they're a definite brand of promise in the legacy category that we will have. Um, for those of you unaware, we are going to have our own awards this year. Tequila Aficionado will be awarding awards for many different brands who we do these tastings uh, uh, the, throughout the year and Tapatio has been an ic iconic brand and so definitely that I think they deserve to be in the uh, legacy category and I think nobody was nobody will find us on that uh, it's this is outstanding yeah. just have it at your bar go get it you know don't hands down hands down you know. hands down an, an amazing tequila mm. from the Blanco to the Reposado to this incredible Añejo it's just, uh, it's just amazing. It'll evoke memories for you who have been to the distillery, who would know Carlos Camarena and the family personally. For those of you who do not, um, this is probably one of the finest examples of a Highlands tequila that's out there, particularly from the region of Arandas, from the, the town of Arandas in that area. Uh, go get you some. You know, don't don't be stubborn. This is one of those brands that if you're going to learn about tequila, this is the one you want to get. I'm Mike Morales. I'm Alex Perez. We have been tasting Tapatio Tequila. Thank you, Charbet, for bringing it into the country. And as always, uh, we encourage you to sip wisely.